So let's look at the extra output that SPSS is giving us. Everything else is the same, except for, now here's these estimated marginal means for gender by category, and then bam, here's the pairwise comparisons that I want to look at. And we can see that uh, the mean difference is significant at p less than 0 0.05, an adjustment for p multiple comparisons, least significant difference, and um, it's uh, not actually telling me that it's uh, done across role. Where does it tell me that? Ah, oh, yeah, here we go. It's saying each F test. These tests are based on the linearly independent pairwise comparisons among the estimated marginal means, and that the F tests are of gender within each level of combination of the effects shown. So for clerical, it's, it's actually the same thing, the univariate tests and the, and the uh, pairwise comparison tests. Uh, I guess you get more information from the pairwise comparisons tests. So we can see that male-female at clerical had a mean difference in salary of 6,554, which is statistically significant. And then for custodial, male and females had a mean difference in salary of 9,749, which is just barely statistically significant. And we've got manager, for manager level, male and female is also very statistically significant. Now I mentioned earlier that I should be using p less than 0 0.001 for my level of significance. So arguably we could say that at the custodial level, based on my uh, in con my consideration for the uh, heterogeneity of homogeneity variance and, and sample sizes, that maybe this isn't statistically significant. But this is how you would test it. You can't, you can't get these results any other way in SPSS. You have to put it into the syntax. Now some of you might be thinking, well maybe what I could do is to simply do a series of t-tests. Actually, before I continue, let's pretend that I'm not using an adjustment in my Bonferroni correction. And what people will do is they'll, they'll get a statistically significant interaction, and then they do a series of, of t-tests across each group. In fact, let's do that. In fact, that's kind of what I've done already. These are basically a bunch of t-tests um, across between male and female for each um, job category. But each one is statistically significant. Now let's pretend the homogeneity of variance issue is not an issue. So this, in this case, people would be confused. They'd be thinking, okay, I got a, an interaction, a statistically significant interaction, and then I followed that up with some um, specific t-tests across each job category level, and they're also statistically significant. A lot of people looking for their interaction it, when they're trying to decompose it, they expect to see at least one of them not statistically significant. But in this case, they're actually all statistically significant. And that's because an interaction doesn't mean the same thing as one of your comparisons is not going to be statistically significant. What an interaction is, is that it's saying is that the magnitude of the difference between the means for gender depends in part upon the role level that the uh, job category is on, and that's true. So really, w in this case, what it's the interaction is saying is all of them are statistically significant. Males and females across all job, job categories are statistically significant, but it's even more statistically significant for manager. So the difference between males and females in salary does depend upon, upon job category. That is the interaction. Even though all of them are statistically significant, manager is the biggest effect. We can actually look at that um, from a statistical s significance perspective by getting the significance. We don't get F values, unfortunately, from these analysis. If we got F values, we could actually look at the, the effects that way and say, oh, well, look at the F value for... Um, managers, but we have to do it with the p-values, unfortunately. So we can see here the p-value for manager, for the difference between males and females, is p less than 0. 0.00000, you know, a lot of zeros, and then 186, uh, which is actually a little bit more statistically significant than for clerical, because at the same level of, of the decimal place, uh, the significance level is actually not quite as big 
in clerical as it is for manager, and then for custodial 